Slavery no longer looks like what it once did. It's not like 12 years a slave anymore. Uh, here in Australia, it is the young girl who's forced into marriage at the age of 12. It's the hospitality worker who's had their passport taken, who's told that they have to work 15 hours a day to repay their debt. Slavery is with us everywhere. We're informed by the Global Slavery Index that there's some 36 million slaves around the world. Today we celebrate the mark of the occasion where I call five years. Give ourselves five years to eliminate any measurable slavery within Australia's sovereign borders. When I first heard their stories a number of years ago, I thought, surely this can't be happening in Australia, and yet it is. It really is a situation that can occur across a range of industry and it's important that we are alert and aware to all the places and situations where slavery can happen. I am so pleased to be here as a living proof that slavery happens in Australia. One day I had the chance to ask someone for help and the Department of Immigration freed me from their house. They took me to the Salvation Army safe house and from there I began have choices and freedom again. Parents were told that if they gave their life savings uh, to people visiting the village, their children would be taken to the city and educated in a boarding school. Instead, these children were forced into domestic labour or worse. Today is an historic day in Australia's fight to end modern slavery. Faith leaders will declare an end to this insidious crime. We can make a difference. Together, let us commit to eradicate this affront to our humanity. Today, I am signing the Joint Declaration of Religious Leaders Against Modern Slavery. As a local church in Australia, we're opposed to slavery in all its forms and are passionate about eradicating human trafficking across the globe. It's important that we all take a stand to eliminate this great evil, that we join together to recognise the God-given dignity of each human person, to know freedom, to live without their lives being owned by others and to express themselves to the fullest of the potential that God has given them. This is a remarkable gathering because together the major faith leaders are committing to upholding a fundamental human right. By bringing together our major faith communities, the launch of the Australian Freedom Network will further strengthen Australia's comprehensive response to human trafficking and slavery. We condemn slavery in all its forms and are committed to actively ensure that human trafficking is eradicated in our world. We have a responsibility to ensure that our faith is outworked in real action and the hope for all of us is that beyond today our faith will bring about real freedom by the actions that we take. On behalf of the Muslims of Australia, I am honoured to sign this declaration that lifts the status of the human being, restoring his or her dignity and freedom. As Australians, as people of faith, leaders and followers, we must stand united to uphold the values of justice and equity. You are giving a new hope to ending slavery in Australia. All I can say is be blessed because you had and you come out here to take an action and God will surely bless you because I know together in God everything is possible. I endorse this declaration and I thank you all for your presence here today. This is the beginning of a remarkable journey. Together we can combat human trafficking and slavery. Thank you.